Hey, so today I am going to try to talk along with this um, time lapse I did. Actually, I did it last week, but I haven't had time to do a voiceover until now. But um, it's kind of awkward because I keep looking down at the screen, and I'm sorry about that, but I have to. I have to. I don't know how to do it any other way. So, yeah, I was looking for something to sketch just because I like to sketch. And I had these yellow roses that our friend Kevin, who actually he's our, lives with us right now, um, he's like a friend of my son's, but also my friend. Anyway, he, for Valentine's Day, decided to give us a bouquet of yellow roses, which I guess symbolizes friendship, which is really nice. That was very sweet of him. Um, and so eventually they dried out, and I just thought they looked absolutely awesome all dry. Like, I like them better dry than I did alive. <laughs> they were so pretty. So I thought I might as well draw them so I can remember them forever. So I went into this uh, little sketch page, possibly having an ego problem. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so easy. I'm gonna make this amazing page. It's gonna look so beautiful. And then I started and it did not turn out that way. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm, <laughs> talk about like, uh, ego check there like I was like this is the hardest thing ever I do not know how to draw roses like new respect for tattoo artists that do roses all the time I mean it was so hard so I I just started like the first rose here I first I sketched it with pencil and then I started shading it with my watercolors and I really didn't like the way that turned out at all so the second one here I just went straight in with uh, with the watercolor and just started adding the shading like that and I still didn't I still I was not happy I was like this is this is really ugly which it's fine because I always need to remind myself that a sketchbook is not about making a perfect masterpiece each time it's about practice and it's about um, just recording daily life and it's not about perfection it's it's not wasted no matter what it's a memory it is practice like I've been doing this forever I don't understand why I get stressed out about it every time that's just me I guess I'm, I'm kind of a perfectionist so anyway we go on so I didn't like what I had done so far so I, as I do a lot of times is I'll grab a pen and try to save it with some shading. So I have this really fine, um, let me find it. It's a very fine pen, fine tip pen that I got in, I think I got this one in South Korea whenever I was visiting my friend. And it is so fine tip, I love it. So I've been using it for sketching and it was like 50 cents or a dollar or something. So anyway. I'm sketching, 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 shading, trying to cross hatch. I still hate it. So let's go on to a leaf now. Surely I can do a leaf. Which, you know, I'm watching here. Blah, blah, blah. It looks okay, whatever. You know, splotchy, splotchy. <sighs> I've definitely noticed lately that with watercolors, I need to learn how to leave the white space, like leave the highlights, concentrate on the highlights, because even though it's not something you paint, it's as important or more important. And I definitely have a problem doing that. I always want to go over it with highlights with like uh, opaque white or something, but that's not always the best way to do it. So I am, that's something in my mind that I'm gonna try to concentrate on coming up, like leaving more highlights. Okay, so anyway, I think I forgot to press record for a minute there and all of a sudden there's all this writing on there. So I thought I'm just gonna like write my 
thoughts about this page to try to make it look cooler and I also found some stamps I had a I have a uh, an old collection from whenever I was a kid and it's just going away so I thought I'll just go through and find some matching stamps with yellow things and stick them on there and then a lot of times whenever I want to save the page to make it look cooler I you know fill in some of the white space with a color like I did here with the purple and I guess it ended up looking okay after I did all the little tricks at the end to make it look better but otherwise <laughs> You know, whatever. This is just me being transparent and being like... Sometimes I don't do exactly a satisfactory job. I think I talk about this a lot. It's not that I don't have the confidence. I really do, but you know, every, not every day is great. Every, sometimes you have off days and sometimes you don't. So this is just one of those days. It ended up turning out okay. I don't feel bad about it in the end. But it does help me realize I need to practice roses a lot more. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, this wonderful transparent video into my heart. If you would like to see anything specific from me or, you know, have any thoughts, comments, please let me know because I love to interact with people online. Um, please subscribe and feel free to share my channel with anyone that you think would be interested. And please also, uh, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all that jazz. I have links to that below. And I'll also put links to all the supplies I use below in case you are interested. Have a great day.